not not him, not Fowles, not Falano, Falano. None of us were ever briefed All right. on Bobrovsky's matter. Hey, yo, what up, guys? So, in this video, we're going to be talking about what is happening presently, you know, in the saga involving Red Dark Man, Bobrisky, Faust the Bad Guy, Femi, Falana. In fact, Faust's sister right now has joined the beat, and the case is going wild, you know, because it's going all over the media. It has even gotten buzz from the Senate, which I'm going to be showing you also. So, the case has gone really crazy right now. So, if this is the first time you're seeing this channel, kindly hit the subscribe button and like this video so guys right now a lot of things is really happening right now today first sister first of all came out to drop a letter for very dark man guys and you know previously in my previous video i showed you that they dropped a letter for very dark man and gave him 24 hours to apologize and if he doesn't apologize definitely the case will be going to court and they have held their own part of the bargain you know because very dark man did a video and he did not apologize he refused because he came out to say he did not defame you know femi falano which is false father and even false himself that he did not defame any of them that he just reacted to the audio that leaked like that bob brisky did so she came out and she was like my parents and our fam falana and falana have been applying for presidential pardons for nigerians absolutely free way before a lot of you were born or before you could talk slide one is from 2016 and i'm going to be showing you the slide and slide two is from 2022 it's crazy that some nigerians act like they can't read and think for themselves it's unfortunate it's even crazier that all it takes for a ridiculous character like vdm to accuse my dad and files of bribery corruption and perversion of the cause of justice and you suddenly forgot who they are and what they stand for for him to have the audacity to go as far as even accusing files of being homosexual and having an affair with Bobrisky is wild the fact that some of you actually believe it is what is blowing my mind for the record anyone can write the president to request a pardon for any convicted person in nigeria you don't even need to be a lawyer to apply for a pardon that said Bobrisky never approached anyone in my family or our firm for a presidential pardon to be crystal clear the facts are as follows my dad has never met or talked to bobrisky whether directly or via a proxy bobrisky reached out to falls the same way he reached out to many other celebrities asking for money the reason he gave was so that he afford to stay in the vip section of prison he never ever discussed a presidential pardon with him he was reaching out from prison falls had no reason to believe otherwise do you really think my dad or files need bob's money for what seeing as you have refused to do the needful very dark black man see you in court so that was what she came out you know to post and she gave evidence of how her father has been doing presidential pardon for people like you are seeing in your screen right now today we have olakemi falana once again joining us thank you so much for joining us i think the question that i'll be asking first to be your reactions to this when you first heard the story your reaction first as sister to files the bad guy and daughter to uh, your father of course uh, femi falano and of course as a lawyer with falano and falano um i think my initial reaction was um obviously not to take it seriously because unfortunately the way social media works people say things a lot of people say things, and a lot of times people say things that aren't true, that they're saying for clout, for attention. And so I just, I was like, nobody's going to believe this. But then, um, you know, because also this very dark man fellow has, he's always, you know, um, notoriously saying things, sometimes true, sometimes not. So I was like, I think people know these guys notorious i don't think anybody's really going to believe this you know but um you know the more it played out the more bizarre it got and you know people saying all sorts of just outlandish crazy things and you know the questions that i had for people it's not it's not rocket science right um this was claiming that first of all what was on the voice note that very dark man was playing and what he was saying and insinuating are different things because the supposed audio recording that obviously was illegally obtained by the way, 
um, you know, but risky, obviously asking this person for money, saying that, oh, I need so and so amount of money because I've been told that, you know, the only way to get out of this ruckus is to get a presidential pardon. Before I go on, I need to state categorically that you don't need to pay any presidential pardon. Pardons can be applied for. You don't even have to be a lawyer to apply for a pardon, by the way. Anybody can apply to the president for a pardon. It's not something you need to pay money for. But we know because, again, Bobrisky released a list of people he called to ask for money. So we know that he called several people to ask for money. Um, you know, he told them he needed, he told some people he needed money to stay in a more, um, what's the word, the VIP portion of the prison. Obviously, he's telling this person on the, you know, recording that, oh, I need the money to pay the Ministry of Justice so that my case can be fast-tracked to get my presidential pardon. So now to go from that to what Very Dark Man was saying, which is that, oh, the money that was paid was to Femi Falano and that Faust was the one who helped Bob Risky speak to Femi Falano and ask for that money for the presidential pardon. We're now talking about completely different scenarios here. And then he takes it as far as saying that, oh, um, are Fowles and Bob Risky involved? Are they lovers? We're just varying completely off track. Now back to the recording. You know, if we're saying, we're looking at what was on that recording, there's an allegation that, you know, EFCC took money to reduce your charge. Then there's the allegation that you were going to pay somebody in the Ministry of Justice to make sure that your application for the presidential pardon is fast-tracked. And then we're now talking about what Very Darkman said, which is that, oh, um, Fowles reached out to Bobrisky, helped him organize this and this and that. It's a whole mess, a lot of allegations, and when you are you know throwing around these kind of allegations you have to be you have to have evidence and i would think any reasonable person knowing that there are laws against defamation before coming on the internet to say oh this person said this and this and this or did this or fast tracked this or helped this person achieve this before saying all that i would believe that you would have hard proof or evidence before you do something like that but of course not everybody thinks things through before they do them right. So now, I mean, as you know, um, Files, both Files and, you know, my dad have come out to say, first, my dad has said, I never spoke to Bob Risky. I have never spoken to Bob Risky. I, I barely know who Bob Risky is. You know, I just know that he's some social media personality that you people are talking about. I have no idea who Bob Risky is. I never spoke to him. Nobody, you know, spoke to him on my behalf, not by proxy, not directly, no communication with this guy. Secondly, Fowl said, I heard from Bob Ruski, but it was to collect, to ask for three million naira from me to be placed in the VIP section of prison. I had no idea that Bob Ruski was trying to pay for a presidential pardon. He never discussed that with me. So you see that we are, you know, the issues are completely different. And so you are, we are now in defamation territory because we heard the portions of the voice notes that Barry Darkman played and what he said, two different things. All right, yep. Let, let's Why quickly... Why are you defaming people? All right, we have a video. I'm hoping that we have the correct one this time. Let's quickly take a look at what was said in that video and we'll come back to the conversation regarding Falari Falano, aka Falls the Bad Guy and your father, uh, Femi Falana. I had to call Eli Lake because there's nobody for me to call. Eli Lake gave me, uh, give me one, uh, two million, the balance of two million. So now, the so I'm supposed to come out in, um, I'm supposed to come out in, what's it called? Ending of July, next month, Okay. 29th. 
bad guy. His father is a a son. So first reach out to me. His father spoke to me. His father said we can apply for pardon. Um, this is not really the full video. I, I remember that at some point uh, he had said something in line with asking, you know, why Faust was in a way maybe supporting him and saying something in the line of Faust's song. Uh, that's, of course, uh, quoting the line where he talked about people criticizing homosexuals. Uh, so he, so the, some of the reactions that we've seen to that is people saying that he did not outrightly call him that and he did not outrightly say that they had a thing. So uh, talk to us about your claims, what Falano and Falano is asking. You've asked for a retraction of that statement and you've asked for an apology, which... Uh, it doesn't seem like you'll be getting. So talk to us about the defamation aspect to it and what the next steps are, seeing as there might not be any apology. I mean, again, you know, speaking about the, the defamation, he clearly said, you know, uh, Fowles and Bobruski involved, you know. We don't have all day to dissect the video, but if anybody has time, go on the internet, the video is there. He said at some point in the video, are Fowles and Bobruski involved? And then he quoted the portion of Fowles' song where Fowles talks about persecuting homosexual people. And he said, oh, is this why you released that song? You know, what are Fowles and Bobruski doing together? Are they involved? So there's no, um, th there no confusion as to whether he insinuated that or not. Now, um, you know, we wrote him gave him the opportunity to retract the statement and apologize. Um, instead of apologizing, he um, came back online, did a video saying, oh, um, I did not, um, oh, I could, I, I would, I could never insult him. Um, first of all, on previous, on his previous videos, he, you know, he said, Femme Falano, I'm disappointed in him. How can he be involved in this? Blah, blah, blah. And then he comes back and is like, oh, I really respect Uncle Femi. I, I can, you know, I can never insult him. Somewhat <laughs> doubling down, but also not apologizing. You know, it wouldn't have cost you anything to say, okay, maybe I got a bit carried away. Um, I didn't get my facts right. And I didn't mean for this to, you know, to cause all this ruckus. I'm sorry. Two seconds would have cost you to do that. But of course, you know, you are chasing clouds. You are trying to maintain, you know, a persona. You want the attention. That's okay. Obviously, the next steps that we're looking at is, you know, going to court. Because at the end of the day, people work really hard to build their reputations, and you cannot just wake up one day and decide because, yeah. you know, you think you're popular on the internet. You are going to come and throw all that hard work away. All just right. Time to hold on. Um, there's so many, um, so many questions here. Um, neither you nor myself nor, um, you know, Mr. Dotson sitting with you in the studio can, you know, confirm whether or not, you know, Bobruski was in prison. But, I mean, if people visited him in prison and if the corrections officers have records of him actually being in prison, serving his time, have we, you know, considered the possibility that this is just one of those cases of people, you know, saying things for clout, lying for clout? Um, I, I'm almost certain that all the things he said on that call, assuming, again, we can't even, you know, verify whether, you know, that phone call happened or didn't happen, right? Because we weren't there. Yeah, but and he's not even denying the phone call. That's the interesting thing. He's not even denying the, you know, the phone call. Well, apparently, you know, that, that well. had, apparently, he had released um, a statement um, saying that um, that wasn't him on the call. Um, and I think he eventually took this down, but I did see a screenshot of him saying that was not him on the call. Um, but even if it was him on the call, um, he was on that call to ask for money. One, two, um, we know how these characters, especially these social media characters, we know how some of them can be. They say things that are not true. They say things because they are trying to 
you know, get a certain response from you. They say things because they want you to do something for them. He was obviously, you know, trying to paint a picture of, oh, you know, these people are helping me with this, so give me this amount of money. He published a whole list of the people that he got money from when he was in prison because he was calling, I, I, I bet you that he probably did not call less than 100 people. He was calling people, and I spoke to a few people who said, oh yeah, he called me, said he needed money, you know, legal assistance, this, um, help to maintain himself in prison, that. And some people sent him money. So I'm sure he was on that call to get money. And I'm sure the, some of the things that were said on that call, I know for a fact that some of the stuff said on that call are just not true. For example, at no point did Faust speak to his father about Bobrowski or a pardon. It just didn't happen. Yeah, so but, but we also, also, also for like, I mean, one of know, the things that was a little confusing was, you know, who initiated the call? Was it Faust who, or Falari rather who initiated the call? Or was it, you know, Idris Okunaye? No, Bob Risky reached out to Faust saying that, um, I would like to speak to you, I need help. Okay. And he assumed he needed legal assistance or something, you know. So he said, okay, how can I help you? Like, what's going on? I think he was, he, he called, Bob Risky then called, because um, cause he must have sent a message saying, oh, please, um, I need to talk to you, I'm trying to reach you or whatever. And then Bob Risky called him and he said, oh, um, please, oh, I'm trying to raise money um, so that I can stay in a more conducive part of the prison. Right. You know. And just to, you know, finally That's clarify, cool. even though we have recognized that everyone is entitled to legal representation, in this case, uh, you're confirming that your father, Femi Falano, was not in any way representing Bob Risky. Not, not him, not Fowles. Not Falano and Falano, none of us were ever briefed All right. on Bobrovsky's matter. Now this case is going crazy. Reasons because now they are accusing Vred Darkman of defamation and they are even denying the fact that Bob Risky asked them for presidential pardon. So that is to say probably Bob Risky on his own just cooked up that story, you know, to get money from people. Allegedly, allegedly that's what Bob Risky did and that's what happened. And a lot of people have been asking, okay, does that mean other celebrities Bob Risky were counting that gave him money when he came out of the prison? He actually cooked up the same story for them and that was why they even gave him the money they gave him the likes of don jazzy the likes of victor Simon, the likes of tone to dk and all of them does that mean that was what bob risky told them and that was why they gave bob risky the money in the first place so a lot of questions are being asked right now and seeing this message from foul sister very dark man came out to react and this was what he said all right um so i'm just waking up now and then i open my instagram the first thing i saw is a post on gossip meal from femi falano's daughter foul sister where she said seeing you have refused to do the needful see you in court my dad femi falano never met bob risky we don't need this money bob risky only called my brother Faust to beg from to beg him for money to be moved to vip cell my sister this thing you just posted now is what would have been posted earlier so that we can all join hand and face the corruption that was revealed you understand it's amazing how people went from corruption and people are coming for me that exposed the corruption you understand it's just crazy you know a recording that exposed a lot of atrocities that might have been going on for a long time that we just discovered do you understand imagine bob Risky on a call saying that he paid 15 million naira to efcc to drop the money laundry charges that is a big that is that should be disturbing to all nigerians for crying out loud imagine bob Risky saying that instead of taking him to the prison one godfather called that they should give him an apartment outside the prison that is disturbing and worrisome you understand to think that some people that we thought were persecuted are the people they are outside chilling do you understand? To think, are you people even understanding the problem that inside that thing that was released? But instead of us joining now to fight this corruption against these agents or this agency that have partook in a corruption, everybody's going, you are coming for me. You understand? Because he said, okay, uh, your father's name was mentioned. Was your father's name not in the recording? Now me took Femi Falano's name for the recording. Now me took Fao's name for the recording. You understand? 
The only thing I said, I said, if their name, if this turns out to be true, I will not have any more respect for them. You understand? If, and I even went on to say that I refuse to believe. I refuse to believe. What did I talk where they did? Next thing, files go drop a uh, letter. Say, if I know retract, retract what? Now me put your name there. What did I say there? You understand? Now you say you want to take me go court. There's no problem. There's no problem. Ah, yes, give or take. If it's too bad, you lock me up for, for six months. If it's too bad, say, if you lock me up for one year. You understand? I don't know what you people wanted. You people wanted me to play the voice note and remove Uncle Femi Fala's last name and Fala's name. What kind of human being would I be? You understand? Which kind of justice I'll say I won't find. Maybe say even the person where people every say I like their name no good did Who am I? I am not an hypocrite. You understand? Nigerians, let me even tell you what is funny. You see, since I came on this social media, see, I have an option to make millions of naira and go and sit down. I for don't make 500 million, over 500 million. And I for the chill. You understand? But I sacrifice all those things because I know that there are people that are being oppressed. And I decide to use my platform to speak up on, for those people. Since I came on social media, you know how many people my voice don't help? You know millions of naira when I don't collect for, on social media for people? You know millions of naira when I don't collect behind social media for people? This case now when make I post this record in Seoul, the guy borrowed Bobriski 4 million naira. He sweats. He give Bobriski. So it's time for Bobriski to pay him back. Bobriski starts to return the guy. To the point where he say, oh yeah, pay me back my money. After Bobriski say, go pay in September. Bobriski say, eh, oh yeah, now if you go, I'll tell people, say me and you kiss, me and you smoosh. I asked the guy thoroughly, the guy saying, swear to God, he never thought Bobriski for in life. That because Bobriski knows, say people know they like a gay thing. Bobriski won't rob something on his body. So I know if he collect him money. Then I step up. Asked him, say which evidence you get. He said, God so kind. He was recording everything. Because in the future, Bobriski will go on cheat him. And that was the record that I posted. And Bobriski, um, it was when Bobriski was asking him for that money. Bobriski said all those things. So when it come in my own now, instead of us to join and, and follow the corrupt people that are spoiling Nigeria, you know, they come for me say, because Nami post time. Eh? Because Nami post time. Tomorrow now you come and say, eh, you the fight, you the fight for human rights. Tomorrow you come and say you are fighting for human rights. You understand? But I don't care. If eventually, if at the end of the day, you not throw me into cell, there's no problem. I swear to God, I am not bothered. You understand? I respect Uncle Femi Falano and I still respect him. What you people would have done was to remove his name from it. But you people did not even address Bobriski. You did not say anything about Bobriski. Bobriski, at the end of the day, you people actually got on a call together. When I don't move on now to very dark man court case, focus on the thing that really happened. But no, when they come for very dark man, there's no problem. Oh. There's no problem. Like I said, Push come to shove, you locked me for six months. Push come to shove. It can never be more than six months. Or oh, ISF, when I say make I pay fine. Oh, now sue me for one big money. Do you understand? Then I go start to pay for my own capacity. If you sue me one billion naira now, and the court, by, uh, my lawyer maybe bargain. Maybe when I end up for 100 million. I they pay one, one million every month. Do you understand? Or I go pay for 500,000 every month. Or I go pay to 200,000 every month. Depends on what my, my work give me in a month. I don't have a problem. I go pay. If you decide to say now and I won't turn the case, go. I don't have a problem. I will pay. But I will not come back and come and say uh, this thing because of fear. I fear nobody. Not only God I fear. You understand? Uncle Femi Falano, I never defamed you. Faz the bad guy, I never defamed you. But if people say that is what it is, there's no wahala. But Brisky go scot free. You understand? Eh, may they go scot free now. But like I said, me, I will always talk. If you like, lock me one million times. If I come out, I stage, carry my camera, and I speak the truth that I know that is the truth. It can't be more than that. And I will continue speaking up for people. That's what I do. I've signed up for it. I'm going to go lock me up, I beg. No problem. Peace and love. My sister, I will see you in court. Thank you very much. And don't play. If you play, you're going to learn. And you will learn the hard way. Peace and love. See you in court. Bye. So you could see now that, you know, Fast Family is not 
taking things easy very dark man 2 is not trying to take things easy so the case definitely we go to court and this case is definitely going to be a strong one in fact a lot of people have been advising very dark man to go with a very good lawyer because this case is not going to be an easy case at all you know you are challenging family with lawyer like everybody is a lawyer in the family so definitely they will have an edge talking about laws and all sorts but Bobrisky, after seeing this Bobrisky right now is gaining so much confidence you know because he dropped a message for very dark man and this was what he said so he dropped a first message and it was like very dark man all your emotional blackmail won't work this time around you think i'm weak just because i chose to be calm does this mean i'm scared of you nobody can send all my helper away from me i repeat you can't manipulate lies upon lies to send all my helpers away from me because everybody doesn't have evil hearts some people are still amazing so that was the message bobriski came out to drop for very dark man and you know unlike yesterday when bobriski you know was scared for his life you understand threatening to buy himself and all more it's crazy because right now it's like he's getting the most confidence he's needing because he has even started posting things online posting himself online you know at doing adverts for people you know because right now definitely his page we have so much attraction so you know people are jumping into his page to do adverts so he's doing adverts for people right now and Bobrisky has been dragging radio guard like the guy that exposed him you know this guy also exposed expose Bobrisky, you know, aside very dark man exposing the audio of Bobrisky, this guy also confirmed that truly Bobrisky was not in prison. You understand that he was not in prison. So Bobrisky is finally fighting back to this guy and Bobrisky dropped some messages, like some screenshots of the messages him and this guy had. And Omar, it was seen, people have been reacting to the messages because in the messages you could see that he was telling Bob Risky that he was very gorgeous and all. And so people have been asking questions like, is this guy also not straight? Like, it's crazy. You understand? Because of the way he was flaunting praises. It was like a guy that was trying to get something from a girl, but this time it was not a girl. This time it was Bob Risky. The main reason I exposed Bob Risky was the fact that the Nigerian justice system is messed up. But Brisky and the Nigerian government lied to Nigerians. You guys put very dark man in prison. He reached Bob Brisky town on a carry and go put for apartments. Where AC day, where food day, the guy just did it, they chill. The guy came out, people still dash their money on top. But very dark man will go prison, come out, nobody dash their money. That was very bad. I exposed Bobrisky because our justice system no day good for Nigeria. No only poor man they go prison, rich man go go apartments. It's not supposed to be that way fam. I'm calling on the Nigerian government to arrest James Brown for deceiving Nigerians, telling us he went to visit Bobrisky in prison. But what did he go do for prison to go record song with one of the inmates? But he came and lied to us that he went to visit senior man Bobrisky in prison. That is absolutely wrong. James Brown should be arrested for deceiving Nigerians, for giving us false information. They carry very dark man put for prison. The guy came out. When I see how very dark man did when he came out now, you're gonna say the guy actually go prison. They can't carry Bobrisky put for apartment. Bobrisky came out shining, looking so good. He even added weight. I said, come, me begin to do party, throw party, buy cake of 20 million, do this one, do that one. Somebody that was meant to be in prison, we can do better as a nation. We can't keep condoning corruption. We all need to stand up and speak up. Enough is enough. James Brown should be arrested for giving Nigerians a false information, for deceiving us and making us think Bobrisky was actually in prison. And for those of you saying that I betrayed Bobrisky, I value the sanity of Nigerians more than any friendship. I felt that you guys needed to know the truth. What even vex me, I expose Bobrisky, is the fact that our justice system in Nigeria is messed up. We can do better. So a lot of people have been asking questions to Radio God that so when you betrayed Bobrisky by posting the audio and posting fact that Bobrisky was not in prison, was it the fact that you tried to hit on Bobrisky and Bobrisky refused and you just did it in revenge or stuff like that? 
latest trend once you see celebrity or influencer they trend on social media carry their matter for her begin hawk and like gala carry their matter for her begin drag all the draggables even when not drag you drag them like i better pass my neighbor drag them talk good even if everybody thought said the celebrity too bad talk good say the person too good talk good the influencer too good do anything possible to promote them then when you finish quick quick slide into the idea go begin demand things from them if they no agree give you come back that image where you don't promote eh? begin scatter them many out deal with them on social media that be the latest one that they do now eh? i thought before if a topic is trending a person is trending an influence or celebrity is trending we are for or against or if you have an opinion you drop or if people are trying to tarnish the person the person's image and you think the person is a good person then you talk about the person genuinely i didn't know you people do it for ulterior motives hey so you can see right now that that's not even all that is happening we have had the likes of the senate jumping into the case and this was what they said i also also note the publication alleges that the economic and financial crimes commission efcc dropped money laundry charges against idris okunaya also known as bob risky upon collection of the sum of 15 million naira this house further notes that the publication alleges that the Idris Okunaya, upon conviction for abuse and defacing of the Naira by the court, did not serve his time at the Nigeria Correctional Service, but was lodged outside the confines of the service. They stopped about the damning allegations against Nigerian critical law enforcement agencies of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, and the Nigerian Correctional Service, established by these ALO chambers to fight correction and incarceration persons convicted of crime for on financial crimes, the committees on reformatory institutions um, join and investigate this matter. There should be a joint committee on financial crimes and reformatory institutions. Thank you. Ah, those against you say nay. That is habit. Thank you, Your Excellency, the People's Speaker. My name is Honorable Dr. Patrick Umar. I represent the entire people of Ikorekpene, a Sienudim, Oboro Karafiru constituency. Mr. Speaker, I'm a proud son of Akwaibom State. I rise to move a motion on the urgent need to investigate the disturbing allegation of corruption against the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, and the Nigerian Correction Service to serve Nigeria from ridicule. So, Speaker, I crave your indulgence to suspend the relevant rules and allow me to take this motion. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Any second? I represent Aniocha Oshimili, federal constituency, and from Delta State. I move to support the motion as urgent, public, important, as moved by my dear colleague. I so move. I so second, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> Thank you, Your Excellency, distinguished speaker, uh, distinguished colleagues. My name is Idem Unime, member representing Okanafun, Uruwanam Federal Constituency of Akwaibom State. Your Excellency, I rise to second the motion as moved by my colleague, and then the subject matter is um, respected. I so second. <laughs> Thank you. So you can see what's happening right now. So this particular bishop, which is the director general of prison rehabilitation mission, came out and he gave his two cents about what is happening, and this was what he had to say. Let me go straight to the issue of prison, and I will start from the area of. Um, giving a private uh, accommodation to uh, uh, Mr. Idris. First of all, let me show, uh, explain the categorization of the prison setup. With the, because the prison, which we call now correctional service, has buildings that accommodate convicted criminals and awaiting trials, including condemned criminals. When they enter the prison for the first time, they have to put them on 
proper recording. Who is this image? Where is it to be kept? This man we are discussing today is neither here nor there as a man or a woman to be recognized. Are we going to say he is a man or is a woman? Now, thank God he openly confessed to the, to the judge that tried her at the magistrate court. How or him? How or him? <laughs> you see, the, the confusion is... is on, I, I, that is where I don't want us to over-celebrate the issue. He is, if, if I explain the, the setting up of the accommodation, accommodation is for con condemned prisoners, CC, those who have been sentenced to death. They are apart. They should not mingle with other inmates. The second accommodation is convicted inmates who are the owner of the prison because a waiting trial has not been tried. The accommodation that is provided for all male, are they going to bring Idris with a transgender body look to go and sleep in the general cell with general prisoners? That is where it comes in. That the first thing the record we do is to now say, okay, how do we treat this type of woman? She's not a woman, neither a man. Neither fish nor frog. <laughs> so, no, that's... Eh? Well, she identified as a man. She's a man. She's a man. She's a man. She's a man. That, that is... So that's man. a man. That, that, <laughs> that's a man. The Nigerian law, the Nigerian law does not... Uh, it's not a man. ...understand the... Uh, it's a transgender. Transsexuality. No, but he, he so answered... So as a man. A man. Ah. Hey, but uh, what of our body fiction? But the correctional center is a legal entity in Nigeria. Exactly. Ah. So they now look for a way not to disturb, because she can cause... Heavy no, 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 no. He, he, he. <laughs> you see now. He identified he. as a man. man. So we'll have to we'll take so one. Let's, I let's am telling you how the, I was in the prison. I spent 10 years in the prison. Okay. I am not telling you stories. All those stories you are hearing, majority of those who are contributing don't know anything that is going on in the prison. Yeah, but your time was in the 70s. Where that 70s? The time is different I was, now. I, I was in the prison day before yesterday. I was at Kirikiri Maximum. Not for, for he, uh, his problem, but for rec the correctional message you mentioned now, which they are introducing. Now they now say, okay, how do we do it? They now say, okay, let us give him a special place. It is like that in the prison. They call it for protective custody because they will tear him to pieces because of our body of his body look. He looks like a woman. He, he, he moves like a woman. So for her to go to any cell, there are chronic homosexual images that are very hungry to go to any length, to tear any body. Even the ones that are not uh, 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 transgender, they, they try to rape what, them. What would they tear? <laughs> That is why I'm saying the, 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 the purpose of giving her that rule. How? That okay. A lot of persons agreed with him, but a lot of persons also did not agree with him. We have bodies like FIJ, and in case you don't know what that means, it means Foundation of Investigative Journalists in Nigeria, guys. They've come out to confirm, in this letter, they've come out to confirm that Bob Risky stayed just one week and he did not stay in prison, that they had somebody inside the prison and that person confirmed confirmed that Bobrisky left after one week. So a lot of people have been reacting to this particular thing. A lot of people have been dragging very dark man. Then a lot of people have been dragging Radio God, you understand? For this guy has been blasting very dark man for a long time. All of a sudden he just changes all because he asked for something from Bob Risky and he did not get it. So a lot of people have still been blasting this particular guy that this guy is not sincere. So I'm going to be posting you reactions of people and you just hit the subscribe button and like them. Tell me what you think about these videos in the comment section. Okay. In case very dark man doesn't know, 
God is using him to expose all these shady dealings. All these people that are using money to close cases. The same way God used him to expose my illegal detention. When he came online to say David is the only one that can tell the police to release him. My bill was already perfected and I was being held against my fundamental human rights. Which means the people that have money are the ones controlling the law. The law is being controlled by the rich. He also said he's going to make an apology for saying the truth. Meanwhile, everything I said was what the police came on the TV to say. Police commissioner said David's car ab uh, abandoned Tago's dead body. So if they're saying I'm telling you like they should subpoena the commissioner of police, invite the video, let the case start. And I've written to the IG of police, the inspector general of police. Sir, I'm highly confident in your operational and administrative experience to intervene in this case. Spreading of money, it's my money. I'm not winning anybody money. I did not steal money. I did not kidnap her. I did not I did not kill anybody. Mm. Sir, I spent my own hard hand money mm. and I was sentenced to where we have a lot of criminals such as murderers, kidnappers, rapists, murderers. It's, it's a whole lot, but you see, like I said, I've always said this and I've got to say it. Um, like, like I'm a very strong person, so I'm ready for anything that comes my way. If I had chosen this lifestyle to be where I want to be, then I should be ready first. And the worst that has happened is sending me to the prison because obviously I don't do anything, I don't kill anybody. Question Did you spend your time in KK in the male or female prison? Hmm, that's deep. That's deep. Ooh, that's deep. Or... Why, why is it deep? <laughs> that's deep. Okay. Um, I spent it. Oh, sh I spent it at the male correctional center. Uh, the number of female. I just told you I spent it at the male correctional, and I love it. And I'll give. If they have given me to stay in the in the female correctional center, mm? I want to have fun. I want to enjoy myself. While I was at the male correctional center, I was the only different people there, like different person there, different person. Oh. So people were they're nice to me. They're showing me care. They're giving me stuffs. Oh. They were being so nice. So if I had stayed in the female, you probably would have gotten like who would have people who would have showed me care. Who would have no buy me food, ask if I've eaten. What if all this care of me? assumption was not is not true? What is the true reason why you were not? You didn't spend. Um, they didn't let you spend your time in the female prison. Is because they are worried you might get. So no, no, they are worried because of you people. Now you see Nigerians now say, "Hey, why are going to stay in the female prison?" But I was in the female, um, in the female EFC custody. Mm -hmm. mm, yes, I was in the female because there were four people in the room, like guys, four to five guys in the room, and obviously, this is a body with boobs. This is a body with nice shape. You know, so they, they wouldn't want to put me among those guys, G guys. Is there any picture of you? Because you started posting pictures as an angel, pictures as a mama, um, mommy. mommy, yes. Um, there's no picture of you on this. No. Because you didn't wear it. I don't know. Am I supposed to wear this? You didn't wear this in prison. Am I supposed to wear this? You didn't wear this in prison. Well, I don't know. Let me just keep that part. I don't know. That's because you were not in prison. You were in one VIP place. You did not. Care of. Uh, I'm not going to say anything. No. That one is people's business. You know, you people, Nigerians, you people know how to sit down and just say things that probably never happened or things that happened. You just want to add one, two, one or two together and start fabricating so many things. So I'm not going to be in that party to sit here and tell you 
oh, I'm there. Oh, I'm the Jesus. Oh, I, I shall know that I was convicted and I, I want to serve. They play. Now today you know say corruption they prison. Now today you know say corruption they police. Now today you know say corruption they immigration. <laughs> now today you know say corruption they army. <laughs> there is corruption everywhere in Nigeria. Civil servant. If corruption is not there, how they chop the economy reach this level? Even people bringing for corruption is there. So because prison so many prisoners they in Niger, we, they don't go abroad they don't send someone make it come represent them for prison we they know they <laughs> corruption don't chop nigeria chop everything nothing remain even i neck with electronic cellular they post from beavers you see them they change them after that shows that electronic voting self <laughs> cannot work here because as they post up that them go go back end they change them everywhere all sector corrupt <laughs> so you are surprised some people they do prison time for for house many many are enjoying that privilege this cons this country once there is no consequence we can't solve our problem corruption don't chop us you don't chop our belly, you don't chop and reach Urobo. Oti. Oh, my man, can I see me see problem? When I see Bobrisky, when they carry emotional black men, they enter this matter. Bobrisky, when they carry emotional black men, I want to do make people the pity him so that they go forgive him, you understand? Since yesterday, I don't type things like, uh, since, since he was born, he has never thought of committing suicide or taking his life or acquiring himself, you understand? But for the first time in his life, because of the way they are dragging him, they want to bring him down by all means. For the first time, he has thought of uh, taking his life, Bobrisky, you, you. <laughs> we know that you're going to yourself. You will like life, you, Bobby Risky. You will be saying like enjoyment. Mommy of Lagos, they think of buying rope to put for a neck. Even if you buy rope, self, the rope will cut. Nothing happened to you, Bobby Risky. Bobby Risky, nothing happened to you till this case finish. Till this case. <laughs> Bobby Risky said they think of suicide. Bobby Risky, I know your plan. I know your plan. Your plan, Nato. Nato, do like say you don't buy. When they come buy as Bobby Risky, you understand? They come go do one kind of fake barrier. When they do the fake barrier, you understand? You go come, come back as a man. Come they enjoy the money way, make as a woman. I know your plan. <laughs> The plan not cast, it not cast, it not cast. He drifts up to Karim, you go nowhere. Oh, my seriously, but Brisky, make advice you. You don't need to de think of how you take pie yourself. You don't need to de think of I want to commit pie, you understand? No need to commit pie, you understand? No need to commit a matter. This matter not a small matter. If they find us say no go prison, high years, then go judge you back again. Then go carry you go put for the normal prison. Now you go dead here. At least if you dead for the normal prison for six months, you understand? You go come at you, don't become free man, you understand? At least go the main prison, go go enter the main clique, you go follow your friends and they play Ludo. You know, if you play Ludo for prison, you sweet too. If you play Ludo for prison, it is different from what you did for real life, you understand? Prison Ludo. As if you did another, they do Siki one, Siki two. You go not say the. Fabrice is here. I'm thinking of committing by. You know they go. You know they go anywhere. Hello, the bruku. I'm I'm a serious little Fabrice. Another thing, what like where they do now? See, they come at now. They defend yourself. He talks in that voice note. Not fake. At least when I go go court, go defend him. You understand? You go take out how AI carry the speaker. You know, by you understand? AI the speaker is AI. Say ni bolu watalo soro. Emi ole, emi ole. See, but seriously, seriously, but Brisky, you don't, you don't get any reason to fear. First the bad guy, first the bad guy. Even you, you don't do anything bad, you understand? You know bad if your father help person beg for pardon, you understand? But we just want to know the truth about Bob Brisky. He stay prison, you know, he stay prison, you understand? I'm, I'm, seriously, now the case on the gay head, small, small. Here, I said they're not suspend some people. I hear said they're not suspend about five to ten people, you understand? When they're in charge of this Bob Brisky case, people will be saying they suspend and then collect bribe from Bob Brisky. Carry and go put inside the co hotel. They give and food, they massage him, body, you understand? At least now the thing on the gay head, small, small, you understand? Make on a continue like this, you get. Bob Brisky, another thing, nobody, the jealousy, you talk, say, eh, eh, I said because of the way that the jealousy, that's why they want to bring you down. Nobody who go jealous man, who go who go jealous man, where carry money go do low social, carry money go they do breast, do nyash, you understand? Turn himself from nobody, they, nobody seriously, but risky. Nobody hates you. No, this is your business, where they do. Me, I even I, I don't go like to you, I like you, but the thing me say, I they like sincere people, I they like making they go straight forward, you understand? See, Nigeria, see, every celebrity, why be say when I do something, when I come to do emotional black me, eh, it's because I made this one, it's because I made that one. They want to, nobody want to bring on that, nobody want to be someone for now, be a lorry, you understand? I dedicate this song to all. 
Don't laugh and I waste a video emotional black me. I dedicate this song to Bob Risky, VDM, Nigeria, all the lawyers, all the people as soon as they judge this case so that when I go do this case where well. if when I don't follow this case up, Tom that go fire on you understand. This song now I fall off and I wait involved for this case, you understand? You don't see your wrong. And I'm an in ya shy Ori shekba kam, ori shekba gam, ori shekba la akoko, ori go rigo, ironti yo ra, anamani ni ya shayere, ori shekba kam, ori shekba gam, ori shekba la akoko, ori go rigo. O bona nawa bili se Bobris ki no really go prison. Na nawa no se Bobris ki really get one godfather. And this godfather must be a politician with the fire Bobris ki yash. Because yesterday, Bob Risky got a shiver. He can't achieve all the posts for Instagram. People got visited all the deleting posts because I saw you go show. This morning, Bob Risky got post for story. Damn pretty. Ah ah. Damn pretty, K. For this kind of matter, all they guy, they, you they post your picture, they do damn pretty. So much time, he can't un achieve all those posts. All the posts for Instagram can't come back. Now again, Bobriski don't post advert. Bobriski they post advert for this kind of matter where they grant. You talk, say you no go prison. They sentence you. People if you say you go prison. You say now one apartment they carry you go. The matter they grant. They don't even suspend about four big prison uh, officials like this for your matter. You they post advert. Oh, but look here, eh? Bobriski get one big politician. We say. Now I be the godfather. He be like say Bob Risky don't call and say, Oh Bob, tell your deal. See what it happen no. Now God and say, Love for con e bale. The way Tinubu did uh, Nigeria when he did campaign. Hey, love for con e bale. Go relax your mind. See if you don't know the kind of person I am. Go and on, achieve your post. Do your thing. Forget them. When they finish shouting, they will rest. Person don't give Bob Risky assurance before they do all this to so one person don't give Bob Risky assurance say go nothing they happen I do with you Bob Risky you and I your godfather where they fire you so where they tell you say go nothing they happen you and I so when I ask go open that prison where you no go you must go that prison you must go that prison because I cannot imagine how they go fire for prison uh, officials and Bob Risky they never arrest them. They never arrest and make it they talk I walk up pass. They don't they don't fire people, they never arrest Bobriski. One person they back up Bobriski and that person go come as a very soon. Bobriski they post adverts. If they post I'm them pretty. Eh ah more for more for Bobriski. Now time you go take. You go go that prison. Mm. You go do it. You go go that prison. So about ah yeah, what the budget? Betrayal, 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 huh? Flying over the whole place, huh? Oh, come on. What were you people expecting, huh? What were you people expecting from people whose father is called the devil? Who is the founder and general overseer of the ministry called Lion Ministry International Globally? Located in Hades. Hmm? You want to know where the address is? Check John 8.44. It will give you an executive summary of what his ministry is all about. You get it? If you don't get it, forget about it. Hmm? Meanwhile, it's all a dim your teens. Internet won't blow, but biscuit, but biscuit, but biscuit, but biscuit. How many days? Two days. But for your eye, for your face, the rig a do election. You know, shout I neck, I neck. Up till now, I neck has not suspend anybody. You don't forget, say this same offense where Bob, we carry Bobiski go prison. This same offense, Kubana chief priest did the same thing that they didn't send him to jail. You know, don't forget. <laughs> you know, they forget things quickly. What about his own godfather? He no get. So because now Bobiski, everybody want Bobiski down because they don't like Bobiski or because jealousy plenty. <laughs> one law for some people, one law for another people. 
The thing where they happen to Bobiski, I pray to God, make it not happen to you. Nigeria, if Nigeria happen to you, you go feel her. Everybody want the guy in jail again. The guy go jail. The same offense with Chikubana Chi priest. Oh, the same thing, the same charges. Whom? EFCC. The Yabilo was there for four hours. They didn't do anything. They let him go. Nobody has been suspended. Nobody has been questioned. Nothing. Edo election was rigged. Daylight robbery. Nobody has been suspended. But because that Bobiski, everybody they shout, they shout, they shout. Oh yeah, continue. Eba Parulo. Bobiski, I believe the video was giving us fake news until he dropped another receipt where he's going to pay the four million naira. He did not even wait. In fact, he was even the one now begging the guy to send his account for you to pay back the four million naira. You know, say mess up, eh? Mess up, get levels. You get level one to ten. No, you know they're among the level. Now you be out, out of all the mess ups. But then this video is not just about Bob Risky. This video is to point at the level of corruption and how rotten our entire government system is. It's shocking and alarming. Now EFCC had to now put out a statement that they are investigating. Investigating who? So why did you people talk about money laundering before and all of a sudden drop the charge? And now the EFCC has turned off their comment section, shaking so badly that they've turned off their comment section trying to investigate what exactly. I've been at prisons. Hey, Jesus. Is it the control general of prisons? But Brisky get mind. Me and you. The truth will come out at some point because but Brisky know the closed mouths. I know say truth will come out at some point. And right now, I believe Timmy Lala, the sexy mogul, I said, but Brisket was never in prison. Now I believe him 100%. No. Which day? What is the hope of the common man? There are two sets of laws in Nigeria. The one for the wealthy, the one for the affluent, and then the one for the average Nigerian. I just saw in the news a man sold three tubers of yam. They gave him six months imprisonment. I do not get what's going on with our system. All this record about Bobriski gives us an insight into what we're dealing with in Nigeria. No, which way? Where are we headed? When are we ever going to get that? At this point, ah, you see Nigeria, is it that you're influential or you're by the side? Just look at what played out within 24 hours. It's alarming. So this thing, Bobriski, Babao, must there be drama? Everywhere you go. Must there be drama? But this drama is good. Because he's not giving every Nigerian youth or Nigerians. Making them catch a glimpse of what and how rotten our system is. I have no words to say. May God help us all. Wisdom. But Brisky, you too talk. Oh. I say you too talk. Eh, but Brisky, you too talk. This your tongue. Eh? You mean I say you know the clues. I feared my life, my head. When I even saw things in diverse the radio guard. Now social media is for normal. You know now I'm in real life. So imagine people where you know for real life. The kind things where you go to tell them. No single secret at all. Some influencers and celebrities in Nigeria go always talk and say you two talk. But if I do all those kind of circles, I know they bother because you know be my friend. Say you two talk, say you know they close your mouth. Some of them they fear to deal with you, to do anything with you, to have dealings with you, to go into business with you because you two talk. So to some of you, maybe say on our mouth, no they close. Even I say this smart tongue, they tell them, they tell them I say, not the way being a secret way supposed to be. One major lesson I learned in the last in, in less than 24 hours on Nigerian social media spaces. You see your secret. Keep it, swallow it, padlock it and throw it key away. Know who you're telling your secret because it can be used against you. It may not be today, it can be tomorrow, up at tomorrow, any day they feel like. Then number two. Wait, the Bobriski came out, had boat crews, had a large party and yet he could not pay his friend. Four million naira that he was owing. You see, not the old friends who won't borrow money from you want your goods. Some friends just want to suck you dry. They won't just collect. Even in fact, the last drop where they were, but they don't want to collect and add to their own. They will come relax, begin mock you, say you don't fall, or say things don't they work for you again. You are not them boro 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 boro. Finish you. Boro pose nice on friends with. Some of them keep believing what you see on social media at your own risk. If they where well, suppose they onanga, but the day there they borrow money up and down from different people. How many? If you hear things I've heard so far, on go fear. So I do not understand. It's not a lavish lifestyle. It's not it, and I want to 
believe he has. Then you saw these stories that are going on right now. Then number three that I've picked. If you're my friend or if you're someone I know and I have reasons to lend you money, you better live within the means of that money I gave you. If you live above and it's due time for you to pay me my money and story call enter, and then you're going to say Katino be leather. Yes, so Katino be leather. Then number four, bestie, 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 bestie. Choose your friends wisely. So friends are there targeting the day they will bring you down. Because no matter what anybody tells me, anybody that holds a conversation with me and they end up recording it, that person, eh, if it buy you, that person fit by you. So choose your choose wisely. We did in less than 24 hours. Lessons I've picked from Niger social media space are the shake. Me and my friend, they shake. We say, so how did we sustain 20 something years friendship? Rita, how? How have we not stabbed ourselves? I say, my sister, I don't know. I they fear for things where they see. Majorly, this your mouth. Begin the closer more. Begin the closer. What will you tell? What you know you want to say out there? Be sure it's something you can defend. Be sure it's something that will not send you to the other side. Just be wise. Watch social media with one eye open, one eye closed. See some news out. Take some in. Don't believe and swallow everything you see on social media. You may be shocked at what reality is really. Wisdom. <laughs> <laughs>